Hi, welcome to Tasty Catering, and I hope you enjoy this tour of Tasty Catering, Professor Dr. Barisha in class. This is an insight into the United States' best-known catering company located right outside Chicago, Illinois. These are some of the awards that we've won for our employee engagement and our catering industry. This is the best caterer in the country, according to Catering Magazine best caterer in the country according to Cater Source magazine. This is the best workplace in the United States according to two famous publications so we are the best company to work for in the United States. Further down is the most psychologically healthy workplace in the state of Illinois and the most psychologically healthy workplace in the country, in the country of the United States of America. That means that the people here have less stress and less problems than the average company. We're a superior rank company. Over here is where my desk is, right inside the front door. One day, 2005, two of our young people came to me as I was sitting at my desk and said, one of them was Jamie Pritchard, and Jamie's gonna come on camera. Jamie said at the age of 23, Either you change or we're leaving. And I said, change what? culture. She didn't want command and control anymore. She didn't want to have me giving orders all the time. What did you want instead? Autonomy and freedom and responsibility within our circles of discipline. So she wanted employee-based culture. And I said, I don't know how to change, but I don't want to lose you. You're too good. So let's do it your way. Teach me how to change your culture. And since then, as you'll see in the PowerPoints that Dr. Marisha will show you in a few moments, you will see the culture that they developed. It's not done by myself or my two brothers who are in our rooms. It was done by the people within the company. As we walk into that room, you can see on the walls, our marketing department made motivational pictures based on all the employees that were working with us at the time are featured in these pictures. And they have motivational sayings underneath. This one is challenges. When you come to the end of your rope, tie a knot and hold on. It shows our employees working at a job. Come into our sales department. These people are the ones that are here working today, our in-house sales staff. This team does special events and designs special events. They do about a thousand events a year. And by the way, we're not dressed very professionally today because it's an American holiday this weekend and it's casual Friday. So if you could say, turn around and say hello to the folks in Thailand, they would like to see hardworking people. Hello. And, uh, <laughs> then, this is our corporate sales team and they do about 9,000 events a year where they drop off food at corporate uh, at corporations across the Chicagoland area. And they're processing orders for corporate America. Hi Thailand. <laughs> and then here is the uh, room where the famous culture transition took place. Around this table sat one representative from each team within the company, and they decided to choose what was important for them. And the culture statement is going to appear in the PowerPoint that Dr. Barisha will show in a moment. And I hope the title is Doctor or Professor. My apologies if I'm wrong. But this is what the employees decided upon based on writing it on this whiteboard. And the three owners, the three owners only could sit in the corner of the room. Here we are, the three stooges, the three dummies. We sat here while the employees said what was important to them. And we wanted to make it their company. And we wanted to give them the freedom and the autonomy that Jamie had requested. So now we're going to move back out into the operations room where we have lunch every day as a family. And notice up on the wall is our core promise. This is our promise to our employee, to our customers and to our employees. Quality and service in everything we do internally and externally at a fair value. So as we follow down the hallway these are some, some pictures on the side that show more of our staff at work. And there's actually a picture of our Good to Great Council that meets yeah. once a month 
to decide strategic and tactical imperatives for our company. One representative from each team sits at the table and they vote on a predetermined agenda and then we send out notes about what happened in that meeting. And here's Jamie, dressed more professionally. And come out into our operations room. This is our transparency. Something will be indicated in the formula that I sent to you in a PowerPoint. But this runs our, shows open book management. We have lunch in this room every day at 1230, Monday through Friday. And on Wednesday, we play The Great Game of Business from the book, The Great Game of Business by Jack Stack. And in here is our profit loss statement and our balance sheet. And everything that we do as a company is listed on that sheet. And everybody in the company owns a line item there. So the financial transparency is every Wednesday, people can see exactly how we're doing this week and this month. Up on this wall is our culture statement. And the culture statement is prevalent in every common area of this building. This is only about one-fifth of the building, a very small percentage of the building we've walked through. But in every common room, you're going to see a culture statement. A culture statement is visible. Before every meeting of three people or more, we repeat the culture statement so it becomes part of what we are and part of how we make decisions. Up on this wall is TC University. TC University is our lifelong learning process where we teach five core elements. We teach about business, English grammar, English literacy, sales, food science, and professional development. We find those to be extremely important for our company to all be on the same learning pattern. We teach emotional intelligence as part of the professional development, organizational behavior, organizational development. Then let's move out to the kitchen where we see the food. This is our executive chef, Alfredo Velasquez. Say hi to the people in Thailand. Hi. We're going to switch to the PowerPoint now, so I'm going to go out and have a nice snack, and you can see what the kitchen looks like. Thank you for visiting Taste of Peter.